In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Nintendo 3DS emulator as Azahar. This emulator is available for Linux, Mac, Android, and Windows. For this setup guide, I will be using Windows. Okay, we're gonna head on over to the official GitHub page of Azahar to get the download. I will leave the link to this page in the pinned comment below. Once you are here, scroll down a bit. Under Assets, you will find your downloads. And since we are using Windows, we're gonna click on this file here for Windows. And your download will start. You will also need this software here, which is 7-Zip. I will leave the link to this page in the description below. We will be using this free software to extract the emulator as well as our ROMs. I have saved the emulator here on my desktop. Now let's go ahead and extract it. Assuming you already have 7-Zip installed, all you need to do is right click on the file, go to show more options, 7-Zip, and extract to Azahar. That will give you a new folder containing all of your extracted files. We no longer need the zip file, so you can go ahead and right click on it and delete it. Now also on my desktop, I have a folder here called 3DS ROMs where I have a few 3DS ROMs. Now to see the file type of my extracted ROMs, I'll right click on one of them and go to properties. And as you see, all of my ROM types are .3DS. Azahar can also run .cia or .cxi file formats. Now I am sorry, I cannot tell you where to get 3DS ROMs, but when you do get your ROMs, they will be in a compressed format. To get them to a playable format, you must extract them. So what you wanna do is right click on that ROM, show more options, go to 7-Zip, and this time extract here. And there we go, now Angry Birds Star Wars is now in a .3DS file format. Now let's open our emulator folder, open this folder, and this file here is our emulator. Let's open it. Now to add your games to the emulator, you would come up here and click on this plus button, or you may see a big plus button right here. Go ahead and locate your 3DS ROMs, in my case they're on my desktop in that folder 3ds roms and a problem i noticed is that my dot 3ds files aren't showing if i hit select folder that folder gets added to the emulator but it doesn't display my roms even if i come up here and right click on this folder and go to scan subfolders nothing appears now this emulator is a fork of Citra and Citra would always display your .3DS games. Maybe this is just something they need to get ironed out and fixed in a future update, I'm not sure, but as for .3DS ROMs, they will not display. But just to show you that they are playable in the emulator, if we go up to file, load file, and I go back to my desktop to that 3DS ROMs folder and we come down here, and we select all files, there's all of my 3DS ROMs. And if we select the game, that game will load up as you see. Let me show you one more. We'll do Spider-Man. So as you see, the emulator does play .3DS files, but will not display them on the main screen. Now let's go up to emulation, configure, go down to graphics, and we're going to increase our resolution. Now you can take this all the way up to 4K if you have a pretty powerful PC, but if you're using integrated graphics and you're trying to run 4K and you start experiencing stutter, then you may want to come back here and lower the resolution for better performance. I have a 1440p monitor, so I'm going six times at 1440. Now I don't change the texture filter, but if you wanna try any of these to see what the game looks like, then you can try these. We're gonna leave everything else alone here and head over to advanced. For the graphics API, if your PC has a graphics card, then for the best performance, you wanna change this to Vulkan. If you don't have a graphics card and you are using integrated graphics, then you want to leave it on OpenGL or maybe even try software. And for your physical device, make sure that your graphics card is selected and not your CPU. Everything else here, leave at default settings. Now let's go down to controls, 
Now I have tested an Xbox Series, PS5, and a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller with this emulator. All controllers do work, I am currently using an Xbox Series controller, and you do not have to map these controllers out. If you come down here and click on Auto Map, and then you're going to see this pop up, after pressing OK, press any button on your joystick. So I'm just going to press any button on my Xbox controller. And just like that, the entire controller is mapped out for me. And if you want to save this controller profile, come up here to new. Name this controller layout. I'll just call it P1. OK. And if you want to see your hotkeys up here, click on hotkeys. Here are your hotkeys. And if you want to change any of these, you just click on the one you want to change and then hit whatever key you want to change it to. Come down to OK. Now let's load back up a game. And unfortunately, we can't do it from here, so we gotta go back up to file, load file, locate our 3DS ROMs, and select the game. Now if you want to change your screen layout, then come up here to view, screen layout, and you can do single screen, this is what it looks like, large screen, side by side, separate windows, hybrid screen, or custom layout. The layout I prefer to use is large. This way my main screen is big and my touch screen is small. And just to let you guys know, if you need to access anything on the touch screen, which is your second screen over here, you can use your mouse. And to go full screen, your hotkey is F11. Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.